Hey there, Adam here. Today I wanted to do a, a short video on three quick ways to get more out of the Templator plugin to really just sort of get you up and running quickly so you can start to experience how this plugin can help uh, improve your workflow inside of Obsidian. So the first quick tip is how I, I think that a broader template is better than a more narrow template in general. So I'm going to use my example. It's labeled phone, but really I use it for just about everything now. So here is my template. Pretty simple. So the templater uses this bracket formula. Bracket I uh, with the, uh, whatever you call that, percent sign symbol. And then this is just going to put the date. And then I just got a topic, a dividing line, where this is where I'll, I would type out the content of the note. So using this as an example, example template. You've got the data creation, and then for the video, and then you can just type out whatever you want to talk about. So I think that broader is better, generally speaking. So I have a number of different ones. I uh, like this literature one, which I'm going to show you in a second uh, for one of the other tips. But this broad template, I probably use 90% of the time. It's still labeled phone. I may change the name. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and you just have your topic of whatever the note's about. So whenever I, a lot of times I do use it for the phone, someone calls, topic will be the name of the person I'm talking to, and then I type out what I need, and then, you know, you can always add links to whatever you want up in the header as well if you'd like to. So I think I, having a broader one gives you a, just a starting point to, a, a, you know, to jump off into more narrow niche cases when you realize you, you're going to use something over and over and over, because templates are just used for things you do uh, quite often. I don't really think that it's worthwhile to have very narrow templates that you may only use once a month. So again, this is the my very basic sort of all use cases template. I very rarely will make a note or will make a new uh, file without using this, I, at least this one. Sometimes I use the more like the fleeting one or the literature one, but I will always at least use this one because I got the date. I can put something in the header and then I can just type out what I need to put. So that, that's the first tip. So the second tip I want to get into today is the use of hotkeys, or in this case, the quick add plugin. So I will link you to my quick add plugin video to do the complete setup, but I will say that hotkeys are going to very quickly change the way that you use the template or plugin. So for example, for this one, I am using uh, Control Alt P is my phone. I plug is is basically the quick add link to my phone template. So Control Alt P, and then I can put in either the topic or the name of the person, John Smith, and hit OK, and it's going to create a whole new note with John Smith as the header, and then I can just start typing. So. You really want to simplify and make this as many key, as few keystrokes as possible to really start to use it. If you have to go in, you have to go into, you know, you, you go down here or up here, click on, I don't know, the command palette, and then go to Templater, insert template, phone, and now you see I've actually put it into this note. But yeah, let's just say you needed to make a new note. I don't know. That's the name. Then you'd have to go Control P, Templater, and click. So that that's you know eight or nine clicks as opposed to Control Alt P, new note, and there you go. So that is sort of the second one is the using the Quick Add plugin, and again you can download that from the community plugins. It's called Quick Add, and here you see the my four templates that I have macro set up for, and I will link you to the video how to set that up. So that's tip number two for getting more out of Templater and at least getting you up and running. All right, and for my our, our final tip for today, I want to talk about doing YAML or metadata inside of your templates. So if you are familiar at all with uh, metadata or the data view plugin. Let's just do, let me make a new one, show you what I mean. YAML. So YAML always goes at the top of the note. You type it with three of these, three of these, 
and then metadata metadata goes here. So templates are pretty useful for doing a if you if you're gonna have some categories of metadata, and again, I'm not gonna go deep into data view, that's a whole video on its own. But let me show you the one I use the most. It's my literature. It's my literature one. So and again, it's not terribly complicated. So this is so you see I've got a the YAML up here at the top with the the literature tag or uh, with the, the author. So author is going to be one piece of metadata, and then title I I have whenever I make my note I put the actual name of the book in there. So let me use hunters and collectors for example, and then eh, it doesn't need that. So you got the uh, actual name of the book as the title, and then I automatically have it tagged as literature. And you can do some data view things with this type of thing. You can see I've, I've been lazy. You do have to actually input the information if you want to use it correctly. So I have other books in here. Let's see. Let's just go to, I don't know, this one. So I've got the author name in there. And then the tag is literature or Marcus Aurelius. So, and then you can, you can put other links as well. So that that's sort of the third way I would use it. And again, I have a quick ad set up for this. Control-Alt-L for literature. You know, the book, and then you see the autofill is the name of the book, John Smith, and it's already got the literature tag in there. So YAML or metadata is the third way I would use Templar just to sort of get you up and running. I And if you read a good bit or if you watch a lot of movies, you could instead have a tag for movie or whatever. I And you're going to be able to search for that information in using data view if you so choose. Again, a little more complex than perhaps the first two examples. All right, well, I hope this was helpful. I know I had some people ask for some more information on using Templator. I try to keep my videos pretty short. Uh, and this, So this was going to be three pieces of just real basic information, get you more in tune with using it. And if I was to start with any one of the three, I would start off with, with just creating a Templator note like this. This, you know, I originally started using Templar specifically for this uh, little piece of information uh, or whatever piece of code, one line code, to uh, put dates at the top of my notes. I take a lot of phone calls in my day job as a lawyer, and I would like, you know, wanted a, just a really fast two button way to get a note with uh, the date on it so that if it takes me three or four days to go back in and save this into my uh, practice management software, I have the date on it, I have the topic on it, and I have the content. And that makes it very easy to find in the future. Uh, you can also, if it doesn't have client-specific information, I have to move it because, again, lawyer. Uh, but if you can, if you don't have any sort of data privacy issues, you could just save this in in your everything else folder or categorize it more tightly if that's the way you operate personally. Personally, I just have a big folder with everything in there, and I link it all. All right, that's it for today. Thanks. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.